Time now for another vlog, and it's almost the end of March. Already? I know. Isn't it insane? We're gonna go to April already. Yeah, we say this every time. It's just time flies. Maybe it's because we've been busy. Been very, very busy. Very busy. In fact, a uh, big topic, headline of the vlog, and why we're flying around in a Cessna instead of a fighter jet. Yep. You want to tell them? Uh, when we get there, it's, a, it's a literally the beginning. It's at the very top. It's at the very <laughs> we're top. We're there. Okay. We're there already. Okay, yep. so one thing uh, that we've been talking about for a quick minute is me getting into flight school. Yeah. It was like one of the main things I was going to do this year. I was saying, if I want to do something this year, I want to start flight school. Well, I started it. I started flight school. I finally am in flight school. So if you guys wonder why I haven't made any videos or or live streams or anything, it's because I've been focusing on flight school. Uh, a lot of information. It's not too hard. It's just a bunch of information. And it, it's, I'm adapting to it. No. Yeah. Like, I don't know some of the fancy words, but if you show me what does what, I'll You're catch learning, on. So. Yeah, I'll catch on immediately. So, yeah. that's also another thing. Like, since it's flight school and I care, I'm showing a lot more interest. That's true. And um, I'm adapting pretty quickly because, like I said, I care. So, how's flight school going so far? Pretty good. Yeah, a lot of information, but doing pretty good. And uh, I think my next lesson, if I'm not mistaken, should be a flight. I, flight. I had a couple grounds already yeah. of information, of lessons, and my first flight should be whenever. Well, it was supposed to be Friday. It was supposed to be Friday, a.k.a. yesterday, yeah. recording, by the time we're recording this video. But uh, it, there was bad weather, lots of wind. Yeah. So it Very didn't happen. Very windy. Very windy. It didn't happen. But I wasn't too down on it because how I was going with a 50-50 scenario. Because just, in, just because they say you're flying... Doesn't mean you're actually flying. Weather could happen. Uh, maybe you're not feeling so good. I was feeling excited. I'm not going to lie. So I was good to go. But uh, yeah, it didn't happen. But whenever it happens, it happens. It was just yeah. not meant to happen yesterday. But I'll be ready for it whenever it, it, it is that they send me a lesson. If the weather's good. Yeah. But yeah, that's pretty much it for fly school. I've only been going there for like a couple of weeks already. Like two, three weeks. And it's fun. I like it. And... Honestly, uh, I think I see myself going uh, a bit deeper into this. Because, I mean, I don't want to say too much right now because it could be the honeymoon phase. True. So, whenever that's over, you know, like, if I keep going and going and I still feel like I love it, then yeah. But, uh, yeah, that's pretty much it. For flight school, pretty much it, yeah. It's a, it's a bit of a drive. Yeah, yeah, you have to... Get on the back roads, and it takes about an hour to get there. Yeah. But she likes driving on the back roads. Mm-hmm. While listening to music. Yeah, just sticking the back roads and putting on some rock songs and full volume. Let's go. <laughs> yeah. And how many Tesla Cybertrucks have you seen? Uh, I've seen a shit ton. Yesterday, I saw five. Jeez. I saw, like, four chrome domes and, like, one full matte black. But then, like, another day, I don't know why GB did not see them. Oh, actually, in one of them, there was, like, a Matt Brown Cybertruck, and it was with pink pearlescent. Yeah. It was terrible looking. And the other one was a full matte green Cybertruck. So, I don't, I don't know how GB keeps missing these colors, but... I've only seen the silver ones. Yeah, the chrome dome. That's what I call it. Because, see, Austin, Texas, Hill Country is... I guess now the, the capital of Tesla. It's where their big giant plant is. And uh, not only do we see regular Tesla cars, we see a ton of them all the freaking time. But now we're starting to see the Cybertrucks. And uh, yeah, so also you're learning how to use the what Garmin G1000, mm -hmm. which is the computer thing up here in, with the interior of the, the Cessna. So she's learning how to use that in real life. Yeah. Along with all the other buttons and the terminology and instruments yeah i see something flashing like red here i don't know what this is the self-destruct mode <laughs> okay <laughs> yeah well, you're gonna die in a few seconds yeah boom <laughs> the see, end yeah i gotta keep looking at the g1000 but like i said it's i'm still learning all about this 
So yeah. if I miss something, I'm not like a pure master yet. Yeah, you're just starting. So. I'm starting, so I, yeah. I'm slowly getting all the instruments. Yeah. Just slowly but surely. Well, you're already off to a good start. I mean, plus you have lessons you have to do at home, you know. Yeah. So it's not all like at the uh, school. Some stuff you have to do online. Right. I think it's was the engine, if I'm not mistaken, because I lowered the engine. Yeah, it might have been just and too it, hot. And it looks the same. Yeah. See? It's, so, yeah. yeah. So, yeah. It's probably always just you were running a little too hot. Yeah. So I decreased a little bit of power. Yeah. Anyways, that's it for flight school. Yeah, I mean, that's all the things that we can talk about now. I mean, yeah. I guess once you actually start flying, maybe you'll do a separate video on your channel talking about your experience flying mm -hmm. and how it felt the very first time actually getting in the cockpit. But, I mean, you won't be solo. You'll be with your instructor. Well, yeah. So that, it's going to be a while before you're able to fly solo. Mm -hmm. Quick minute. But, yeah, it's going to be exciting. Hopefully that goes well, probably sometime this week. Mm-hmm. But uh, what else is happening? Okay, obviously uh, spring's here in uh, Hill Country, Central Texas. Blue bonnets blooming everywhere. And we saw tons of them on the way to my nephew's party on the way home. Mm -hmm. They are everywhere. Yeah, I mean, they're supposed to. But they're to, beautiful. They are beautiful, but they're supposed to be like some huge like fields of them somewhere. And one of my other sisters wanted us all to go there and see them before I guess they die off, mm -hmm. before it gets too hot. So hopefully there's still time to go do that, but yeah, and we have a few neighbors in, in the neighborhood that have like a couple patches of blue bonnets in their front yard. To be honest, I'd rather have blue bonnets than the crap I have, <laughs> that dead grass. Oh yeah. Or, or my dead bushes, or that dead that small dead tree in my backyard. Thanks to the drought over the summer. Yeah. <laughs> I got that, that's something. If if it starts rain, if it doesn't rain for like for like two to three weeks, I'm gonna give them some water. Yeah, no. I'm gonna start doing that. Well, don't bother with the ones that are dead, because well, oh, they're, they're dead. dead. Yeah. I guess save the bushes that we still have. Yeah, exactly. But yeah, so springtime, it's still pretty nice. Uh, Seventy-six degrees right now. Uh, cloudy outside, so yeah, there's that. But also windy, so it's it's good walking weather. Mm -hmm. And we've been doing more walking around the neighborhood, and that's good for both of us. In fact, while we were at my nephew's birthday party. You know, it was at a gym, and they had, like, kid activities, you know, like a bouncy castle or something. And they had a bunch of, like, uh, plastic balls, and everybody was running around having a good time, including the adults. And you and I were, were tossing a ball back and forth. Mm -hmm. So we were actually doing something besides eating pizza. So yeah, was, we were just throwing a ball, yeah. You called it the COVID ball? Yeah, because yeah, we, we washed our hands after we were done just in case. Because think about it, you have all those people there, right? all the kids, all the adults, everybody touching everything at the party. Now, you, you got to tell me at least one of those kids or adults might have something, you know, some ailment. Yeah. Like something like that could cause a disease to spread like wildfire. So, yeah, that's why it's important in those situations to wash your hands afterwards. Yeah. But it was a good time, though. I thought we had a great time. Mm-hmm. That's why I didn't stream on Saturday. Plus, it was GTA and the GTA event week. I don't want to yeah. stream GTA. Yeah. How, how convenient that my nephew's birthday happened to be today. But, yeah, you know, so far it's been really nice. I mean, except for the other day. The other day was very interesting weather-wise. You were in flight school, mm -hmm. and you're about an hour south away, and the weather at the time was nice down there. Yeah. And, it was sunny. And I was working on something in my office, right? Mm -hmm. And all of a sudden, I started hearing banging against the house. I'm like, what the hell is that? And I, I was thinking, most likely it's hail. And sure enough, I went and looked out the front window, and, you know, hail was hitting the, the, wind, the roof. And then I went on the balcony and actually filmed this. In fact, I'll put the little two-minute video below in the uh, description section. I unlisted it, but y'all can go check it out if you want. Of this of hail just piling onto the balcony in a matter of two minutes. It was crazy. Mm -hmm. But then you experienced it on the way home from flight school. Yeah, because I, the moment I got out of flight school, I saw like this pure black, well, you know, like dark bluish uh, sky Ooh. heading from Dripping Springs. It's like Ominous. The, yeah, and that's like, oh, gosh, shit, I got to head over there. Yeah. And then literally while facing over there, while I'm in, uh, on the way home, it, it starts raining like really badly but then 
it wasn't no like normal rain. Like uh, there was like a chunks of ice on the car because it kept hitting like the, sh the windshield, and it just it, it 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 wasn't just like normal water. It was pretty solid. Yeah. So it's like oh shit, this is hail. Yeah. All hell. Yeah. So all hell broke loose, wow. and uh, yeah, it it was there for like fifteen to twenty minutes, and it kind of stopped. It turned to regular rain. Fortunately. Yeah, but uh, then after that, while well, I was getting home, that's when the sky turned back to normal. It was like grayish, cloudy, but yeah. it wasn't hailing anymore. So. Yeah, I don't think it was like hard hail. It was like almost. It wasn't cold enough for it to fully freeze. So it was more like kind of like icy water. I guess kind of like a slushy. <laughs> Mm -hmm. So that's kind of like what it was. Not exactly hell, but not exactly snow either. Right. But yeah, it was gone within a matter of hours. So yeah, that was the freaky weather that happened the other day. Mm -hmm. And uh, what else? Um, I, I don't think of anything else that happened in March. I mean, not really. I mean, we hanged out with my sisters a couple times. Mm. And that's about it. But we're talking about like in real life. In real life, yeah. So flight school, hanging around. Maybe. Yeah, we didn't like nothing really. No yeah. walk. Yeah, we've been walking, which is good. We've been walking, yeah. Yeah, I did more activities. Yeah, but I think that's it. Yeah, I think so. When it comes to real life. Yeah, but exciting stuff happening for you with flight school, so that's cool. Yeah. Uh, what have been what have been watching? Uh, just a few shows, not a lot. Uh, Bad Bad season three. Invincible, and uh, I got her to start watching Superman the Animated Series. Where would you like to go first? Uh, Superman's the longest, so let's talk about that. Okay. Now, let's start off with the fact that I tried to get you into Batman the Animated Series. It really didn't stick. She didn't really care for it. I just, yeah, I really didn't care. It's just, meh. I don't know why I care for Superman more, because it's not like Superman's my favorite hero either. Yeah. He's just there. Yeah. But I guess it was just more interesting. I don't know. It's it's weird because I like I said I really don't care too much about Superman, and I don't know. It just kind of stuck with me. Yeah. I liked it way better than Batman. But wow, that's that's an opinion I don't know if most people agree with. I think they're both amazing shows, and they're part of the DC animated universe. So I'm glad you at least have been enjoying one of those shows. Yeah, but then after that we're gonna watch Teen Titans. Yep, I'm, and I made a confession the other night. I never watched Teen Titans. Yeah, like the, not the go one, no, not the trash one. Yeah. The, the OG. The OG. Yeah, go reverse, OG. Yeah. Yeah. And he never watched that one. No, all, you all thought that I had watched Everybody it. was like shocked. Like yeah. it was just like, what the? Well, around the time it came out, I was kind of busy with real life stuff, so I didn't have, and I, I wasn't never really a Teen Titans person, you know, I was but more. But Robin's there, and you like Batman. Um, does it necessarily mean I like Robin? I, I tolerate Robin, Robin on good days. Wow. The problem with Robin is he's been fighting the whole 1960s Robin forever. Mm -hmm. You know, gee whiz, Batman, where he's wearing the really short shorts. He looks like a twink. Yeah, and that's the problem with Robin. Even though they've made Robin a lot more cooler, it's just been an uphill battle. Because even now, a lot of people, when they think of Robin, they, they think of... That Robin from the 1960s. I don't. Which is crazy. I mean, maybe a few exceptions. I always think of the 2003 and, and Go, unfortunately. Okay. I, I hate thinking about Teen Titans Go. It's just, ugh. Yeah. I know, but it, it, I just think of it, even well, though I don't want to. Well, here's the question I have that you could not answer, and I guess we'll find out after we finish season three, which should be soon because there's only three seasons. So what we're going to do is we're going to finish... Uh, Superman after the third season. Then we'll go watch Teen Titans. Then I'm going to get her in return to watch Justice League. So that's that's how it's going to work. Yeah, I already watched them. They all died. Not the live action crap movie. No. No, the, not the, that. The, the Suicide Squad game. No, not the crappy game either. That's they, trash. They, they all died at the end. No, that's trash. We're not watching that. They die life service style. Yeah, and then they, they have uh, what the, as Kane calls him, the giggler. The giggler. The Joker in name only. <laughs> yeah. yeah. Good job, Rocksteady and Warner Brothers. Well done, GG's. GG easy. Great way to destroy a company. So, yeah, we're going to check out Teen Titans, but I, I got to know which Robin it is. I don't well, know. Well, I guess when you watch the show, you'll find out because I'm, I don't remember. I'm guessing it's Tim Drake Robin because usually Tim Drake Robin in, in the comics and in. Batman animated series as a kid, whereas 
Dick Grayson, the first Robin, starts off as an adult. Okay, what about the one we saw in the animated series? Well, who is That's that? That's Tim Drake. Okay. Yeah. But he's a kid there. Yeah. So I, I guess it, it's either it's either Tim Drake or does does that does that Robin like wear a hood, or no? No. Okay, because Damian Wayne, which is Bruce and Talia's son, like he's a Robin also, but he's a more like gritty, like uh, Robin, a darker Robin. But he likes to wear a hood. He cool. Eh, some people debate whether or not they think he's cool. I think people have gotten used to Damian Wayne. But anyways, uh, other shows. Um, season three of Bad Batch. Yeah, it's pretty good. Yeah, it's a pro- way better than season two of Bad Batch. Yeah, that was like a filler season. Yeah. Uh, Except for the ending. Yeah, which is basic. I would say that the, the last part of season two might as well be like chopped off and like moved over to season three. Yeah, and just start there. Yeah. But unfortunately, this is going to be the final season of Bad Batch once that's over. Yeah. So we're enjoying it. Yeah, enjoy it while it lasts. Yeah, it's, it's pretty good. Yeah. So far, it's pretty good, yeah. Yeah. And then uh, Invincible. We finally got the second half of Season 2 of Invincible starting. Mm-hmm. And, again, it took like five months. Yeah, it took a little... I hate that. Wait, why did they do that? That was so boring. That was so stupid. Yeah. It's like they, like they cut it up at the greatest part. Yeah. And then you have to wait five months for the next part. It's like, why? <laughs> they should just do a Netflix and just release all the episodes. Yeah, but, you know, these subscription sites know that people will binge. And then they'll cancel their membership so that they only have to pay for one month. Instead of spreading it out to two or three months. Nerd. That's a nerd move. Well, yeah, it's a it's a money move. But, yeah, I agree that the whole, like, separating into two parts when it wasn't necessary. Yeah. That was dumb. Like, if you want to make us wait for something, at least make us wait, like, I don't know, a month? Two weeks, maybe? Yeah. If, if you want to make us wait... It, but I, if I honestly don't care, I would have released all the episodes. That's just I, me. I know. But if if you want to put a wait time, at least put a month or 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 two to three weeks. But like five months, like what was it? Like November or December, and then you have to wait until like March. Something like that. I don't know. It's, it was just no. It was just it, that ain't it, Chief. Yeah. Well, I always say this. At least the second half have been, have been decent. Yeah, it's been pretty good. Yeah. But, uh, yeah, I mean, I can't really think of anything else we've been watching besides usual. You know, YouTube, Twitch. Yeah. Just the usual content. Just the usual. Yeah. What else is there? Oh, yeah, we were going to go watch uh, Ghostbusters Frozen Empire, even though I've, I've heard it's really mid. And that's a disappointment to me, a longtime Ghostbusters fan. But I still want to watch it. Maybe we'll watch it this week if we get a day to go watch it. Ghostbusters has not been kind with his sequels. No. Besides the second one. The second one is good. I mean, people have used, they used to dog on the second Ghostbusters movie. I always liked it. But you compare Ghostbusters 2 to Afterlife and now Frozen Empire. Yeah, it's it's amazing by comparison. Well, it's one of those things where if you like, if you really have nothing good to offer, then don't even bother putting I, anything I don't, out. See, I don't understand that. And I'm, I'm waiting to pass judgment until I watch it. I know that other people have made videos like Critical Drinker. Mm-hmm. I'm not going to watch his videos until I watch it and make my own opinion. But I wasn't really impressed with any of the trailers for Frozen Empire. I wasn't excited. And like I said, the original Ghostbusters movie is one of my favorite movies of all time. Isn't it your favorite movie of all time? Basically, yeah. Yeah. Mine's Back to the Future, by the way. Well, yeah, I, I love the Back to the Future trilogy as well. But, yeah, it's, it's just sad. At least one, two, and three are pretty good in Back to the Future. Yeah. They're all good. They're, it's a solid trilogy. Yeah. You know? But I feel like the a solid Ghostbusters trilogy, in my opinion, and I'll probably make a video about this after I watch Frozen Empire, is easily the first movie, and then Ghostbusters 2, and then Ghostbusters the video game from 2009. So those are my like top three. <laughs> Okay. Like, uh, and then like Aftermath and most likely Frozen Empire in the distance. And then uh, in the shit category is the 2016 film. Okay, so I got a question for you. Okay. How would you make a Ghostbusters movie? I would, what I would do is obviously I would make it scary, like the original movie. I would also make it funny, where you have humor, right? Mm -hmm. And I would, I would make the story interesting, you know? And I, I think without bringing back Gozer or anything that they've already 
So somebody new. Somebody new. And that's what I liked about Ghostbusters 2 is that they had a new antagonist, you know? Yeah. But, yeah, I would recognize that I think the thing that makes Ghostbusters so appealing is it, it was scary and also funny at the same time. It had great characters, awesome setting. And a lot of people believe in ghosts, you know? Mm-hmm. Whether you believe in ghosts or not, or hauntings or poltergeists, there's plenty of people out there that, that do. So it allows for that believability. Like, what if there actually are ghosts, you know? Mm-hmm. But, yeah, I, I would go somewhere down that road. But, I don't know. And I feel like, unfortunately, they just... I don't know. It's so weird. You have all this money you put into these movies, right? And a lot of them are terrible. Terrible characters, terrible story. Yet they spend millions of dollars, like hundreds of millions of dollars on a lot of these movies. And you can't even get a decent writer. Yeah. Like, come on. that's, that's... Or, or maybe they think it's good. It's like, you know what? Damn, this dude's spitting. This fire. This shit's fire. And then the whole team agrees. like, damn, this is some good writing. How can they be that pathetic? How can they? Like, what I, is I'm wrong? Not, I don't know. I don't know. But... Look, I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to lie. I don't care for Ghostbusters, like, at all. I don't care. You could literally ask me any of the Ghostbusters characters. I could not name you one. Mm. Like, even the main four. I could not name you one, GB. I don't know. Uh, Bill Murray. What's his name? Peter Vagman. There. I, I, I could literally not name you a single Ghostbusters character well. besides Ghost or unless you bring him up, because I just, I don't care. Yeah. Like, it, it's not that they're bad, it's just I don't care. Well, I do. So. Like, especially Afterlife, I could not name you one. One character. Well, to be fair, I can't either. Oh, okay, maybe I could name you there's, one. I could call XO1. There you go. That's, that's a character. That's the car, but the car was in the first movie. That, that, that's a character. Yeah. It's a character on itself. See, so. see, there's Paul Rudd's character. I, I just call him Paul Rudd because he's Paul Rudd. Mm-hmm. Uh, there's uh, Egon's granddaughter. I mean, that's to do with the classes, right? The chick. Granddaughter. No. I mean, oh, Egon. Yeah, Egon's to do with the glasses. Okay. I'm, I don't know why. I, nerd. <laughs> I don't know where I thought you were going with that. But anyways, yes, Egon was the nerdy one, you know. Mm-hmm. But yeah, like I just I haven't really cared for the you know, the new franchise. But yeah, I'll watch it. Enough Ghostbusters for now. But like I said, I'll probably make a Ghostbusters movie after I watch Frozen Empire. Review? Uh, review slash tier list. It's going to be like a mixture of things. I guess going more thought to where I am right now. Mm-hmm. Except for a little bit more focus. But anyways, let's move on to video games, shall we? So uh, let's see. What have you been playing? Oh, you um, apparently, according to, to this, have been playing some GT Online. Is, is this right? No. What the hell? Yeah, I uh, I redownloaded the the trash can, <laughs> but yeah, um, I'm only playing it just to see Chomp Chomp, just because I never played it and I kind of never give a shit for it in the yeah. first place. But curiosity, boredom, 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 and curiosity, and I was wondering. Well, I mean, I haven't tried it. I mean, I might as well try it. But don't expect me to ever get back into PvP. No. Ever, it's not happening. I am retired. Yeah, I'm, I'm not going back to GT Online PvP. Last thing I need is to, oh, okay, well, I'm enjoying the game. Boom, Orbital Cannon. <laughs> and then there you go. And it just goes back to the whole cycle again of getting orbed every two seconds. Not happening again. Nope. Yeah. And every single time I'm enjoying a fight or I'm doing something, I get boom orbed. Yeah. It's so annoying. And it just ruins the whole flow. And it gets, oh, my goodness, annoying. But yeah, uh, no PvP videos are ever coming back to my channel when it comes to GTA Online. Well, maybe GTA 6 Online. Maybe, G- yeah, but GTA 5, no. It's over. As long as the overall cannon remains in the game, I'm not making a video. So, yeah. Uh, AKA never. So what's your honest opinion of the uh, Chop Shop uh, salvage robberies? Mid. 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 And yeah, uh, I also tried a Clock and Bell Raid. And how do you feel about that? The Taco that? Bell DLC. Yeah. Uh, uh, it was boring as hell. I'm not going to lie. It was so boring. What about Vincent's Redemption now? Uh, he's okay. I, I, yeah. I could barely listen to the audio because every single time you guys would just talk over the dialogue. We were trying not to. But Sorry. but yeah, like I, I could not remember a single piece of dialogue because I just I had to hear you guys talking. 
We were trying not to talk, though. Yeah, but it is what it is. Well, during the cutscenes, we didn't talk. I know, but, like, you know, like, audio in missions. Well, here's the thing. It doesn't show for us. When we were playing with you, mm -hmm. like, you were hearing the dialogue, but I didn't see any subtitles pop up. Yeah. Well, it's just I didn't want to tell you guys. Hey, guys, shut up for a second. Like, every two seconds. Well, you could Because Vincent just speaks and speaks, and then... Because cause Bounty was going to speak at the same time. And then it's like, okay, Bounty, you can speak now because Vincent's done talking. But then we got closer to the edge. He started talking again. and Yeah. And it's like, God damn it, I cannot hear this. It's like, it, like, I could just hear gibberish because it was just Bounty talking Sorry. with Vincent talking. And I just could not listen to what any of you guys were saying. So, yeah. I, I don't know. I was trying, but... Well, I didn't realize that. Well, it is whatever. I'll have to replay it again just to listen to the dialogue. All right. But, yeah, that did happen. I, I still think the gameplay itself is boring as hell. It was so ass. It was just like, go from point A, go to point B, get something, bye. <laughs> and, it, I mean, that's just how GTA is anyways. Yeah. It's just, it's the same thing with Red Dead. Just go here, go to there, uh, grab something, maybe kill somebody. <laughs> and, and there you go, you did it. Yay. Yeah. I don't know, I'm, that's just open world design. It's just basically most games. Or if it's not that, it's a tailing mission. Just go follow this character. Wait for them to turn around or something so they don't see you. Uh, there you go. It's kind of like that. It's just open world design. That's just how it is. It's boring. Yeah. So what else have you been playing? Uh, I've been playing DVD because of the Blood Moon event. Which I got the Oni outfit and I got a bunch of other outfits for the other characters. Which uh, I got free. I didn't pay for them. Uh, got a shit ton of blood points. Because the amount of blood points you could get on this event was insane. They buffed it. And I was just grinding blood points. I still gotta get three more killers. Well, which is Pinhead, Blight, and Twins. If I could just get all those perks to level 3, then I'll be good to go. Because I have them on level 2. But most of their killers I already made to level 3. Because I want their perks. Uh, let's see. Uh, that's it for DVD. I've been DVD'd out recently. Even though the event literally ends tonight. Well, sad. it ended Saturday. It ended? Well... I'm putting the video out on the 31st, Inside Baseball, but we're recording it the day before because I'm also streaming Red Dead Redemption 2 today. Oh. So, there. Okay. Two. Anyways, uh, so yeah, uh, I gotta get that. And yeah, that's it for DVD. It's just kind of meh at the moment. Mm -hmm. Maybe it's because I've been playing it too much. Mm -hmm. Alright, so that's it for DVD. Battlefield 2042? Now 2042. Now for 2042, uh, the new season came out like a week ago or two. Um, it's fine. It's actually fun. The Scorpion's busted. I love it. Um, what is it? Yeah, the AK-5C. Haven't tried it out yet. I'm like 70 years away from it. And I haven't tried the launcher. But yeah, overall, the new map Haven. Uh, pure camp fest when it comes to like people hanging on the roofs. Uh, I think it's better on Breakthrough. Then Conquest. Conquest is just ugh. Maybe if they added fighter jets or something. Or maybe another tank. I don't know. They, they just... To destroy the buildings, basically. I think maybe another tank would have been necessary on a fighter jet. To counter the tanks, you know. So it, it's like a nice type of warfare. Because I think the only thing you can have in that map is just like one tank and one Nightwing. And that's it. it uh, I just It's just not that good. I, basically the little bird. The buzzard. But, yeah, it's an, it's an okay map. Not the best map ever. I'd rather play on Spearhead or or Stranded. Back when they had the jets, they removed the jets on Stranded. And that's pretty much it for 2042. Mm, what about Ghost of Tsushima Legends? Uh, Ghost... Uh, Ghost... Because it's coming to PC and you were going to work on a video. Was going to work on a video. I don't know. It could still happen. I just, I don't know. Ghost of Tsushima Legends, it's pretty good. But, goddamn, uh, I was playing it with Bounty because he was slowly getting back into it, kind of because I told him to. But, <laughs> but yeah, um, it just hasn't been fun. We were playing raids. Bunch of people doing, quote-unquote, tactics to uh, basically advance through the raid. Uh, you know, like... Glitching through a wall, or falling through the map, so you can spawn on this area, or basically just exploiting a little thing. Oh, it's, it's, it's not cheating, it's a shortcut. Yeah. It's like, you can call it whatever you want, 
if you're skipping something so you don't have to do it because, you know, the game tells you, hey, do this, and you're, like, doing something to avoid that whole step, I know it's, in a way, speed running. Yeah. I know. But at the same time, if you're going to speed run, at least speed run and have the other players consent. <laughs> because, literally, it could be somebody's first time doing that, and then they see that shit, it's like, oh, okay, well, I'll just do this and just avoid everything else. Yeah. Isn't that kind of cheap? And I just see it everywhere. In chapter one, it's everywhere. In chapter two, it's everywhere. You, in a way, you can kind of cheat chapter three. But oh my god, I literally could not find a match of raids without people cheating their way through it <laughs> every single time. I don't, I don't care how you do it. I know in a way, it's like throwing a grenade and jumping and hitting yourself and then something else and then you spawn somewhere else. I know it's kind of like that. I, but I don't care how legit you do it it's just cheating's cheating or exploiting or whatever if you're like avoiding steps it's like for example just like uh playing a gta 5 speed run right you spawn at the beginning of the game yeah and then you do basically like a tactic like let me just kill myself here on this spot and if this happens i should be able to spawn at the end of the game yeah it's kind of like that you know it's it's like are you serious then what's the whole point of the game yeah what about the whole other thing it's like like these steps that you have to take it's like no don't worry just oh guys uh let's jump here if you jump here we can all kill ourselves here so we can spawn at the next checkpoint without having to do this whole thing <laughs> it's like are, are you kidding me then the, what's the game where, where, where's the fun where's the challenge if we're just gonna skip through everything yeah it's not fun and, and it's just it's been everywhere in legends and it's bad as me i know it's ghost of tsushima legends and it's not going to be supported anymore. But exploiters or cheaters, it, it, it's cheating's cheating. It doesn't matter how you put it. It could be a dead ass game like COD 4 on Xbox 360, 2007 game. Cheating's cheating. It don't matter. So if you're going to ruin it for, for for yourself, like at least do it in single player. It's just don't ruin it for other people. Because me, like for example, me and Bounty were just trying to enjoy the raids for the first time. We couldn't do it because you are forced to do it with four people. And sadly, every single fucking rando is just exploiters and speedrunners. It's just, just cheating their way through it. It's just, that's just how it is. So it was a bad time. I got pissed because I just want to play the game. And what's the whole point of playing the game if like the entire cheater can just jump for the exploit so you don't have to play the game? Yeah. It's like, then why am I here? It's like you're forced to be there because it requires four people. It's, it's annoying. I don't like it. So, yeah, that's my take on cheaters. On any game, honestly. It doesn't even have to be Ghost. It's just any game. It's just cheaters just ruining the experience for everybody. Even if you didn't ask for it. Yeah. That's just how it is. But that's my end take on Ghost. All right. Anything else you've been playing? Mm, Fortnite. Not much. Not much of Fortnite. Mostly saved the world. Yeah. But, yeah, um... That's pretty much it. Besides that encounter, ever since that, I haven't really played much Legends with Bounty. Or at all. It's just I kind of got fed up with Legends because there's too many cheaters. Yeah. yeah and it's sad too. It's not even that, that old of a game. But with PC, I wouldn't surprise me if it gets even easier to cheat. So Probably. So, yeah. Uh, that's why I don't really care about making a video for PC. Because I have a feeling they're just going to cheat their way through it. Yeah, yes, there, there are a couple of innocents that won't. But PC is PC, and it's a wild chase. Goose, goose chase. Yeah. So, yeah. that That's it for me and and cheaters. Okay. All right, well, I've been playing a few games. Uh, I just finished up my playthrough of Star Wars Dark Forces Remaster. If you want to check it out, it's on my other channel. Enjoyed playing through it. A childhood favorite of mine. From back in the day so it was nice to be able to go back and play dark forces once again i'm also playing through red dead redemption 2 like i mentioned a moment ago that's on uh, sundays there's probably one or two episodes left of my red dead redemption 2 five years later stream series but you know it's been interesting coming back to the game after five years it's still an amazing game I really wish that Rockstar would have supported Red Dead Online, but unfortunately they, they didn't. They kind of sort of abandoned it, except for the monthly events, which really isn't much, to be honest. And a, a 60 FPS upgrade for a PS5 Xbox Series for Red Dead Redemption 2, at the very least, would be nice. Mm -hmm. Yeah. 
But um, the only other game I'm really playing is uh, Jurassic World Evolution 2. So, yeah, I play a lot of that. Yeah, he's having fun. Yeah, well, I mean, it's just, it's weird. I go through these spurts of it being fun, then times of it being monotonous, and then times where I find a little bit of fun again when I think of something else to create park-wise. Like, uh, for example, I created uh, an aviary bird park where I have a whole bunch of big giant aviaries with the pterodons in it and other, you know, birds from that period. And I also got some other animals, too, that are kind of outside that are, I guess you could say, bird-like because allegedly dinosaurs evolved into birds, the ones that survived. But, you know, I do enjoy the game. I'm glad that I had it in my library when I claimed it for free. And I even bought two packs, expansion packs for it, the Malta expansion pack and the Biosyn expansion pack. And if they ever do make a Jurassic World Evolution 3, I'll probably buy it because I've been enjoying it. And I probably will keep doing that on the side, playing through the sandbox mode, creating different parks or trying some of the challenges. I'm trying to finish the uh, chaos mode with each uh, different chaos scenario they have. They have one for each movie. I went back and I'm redoing the Jurassic Park one because I kind of screwed it up. And to be honest, I've, I've learned a lot more about the game since I first started uh, Jurassic Park Chaos Mode. So I want to finish that. I want to finish um, the Fallen Kingdom Chaos Mode. And I want to finish the Dominion Chaos Mode. But the, the campaigns, I've already done. I already knocked out the campaigns. But yeah, it's just some fun to do on the side because I've always liked dinosaurs. And I'm a fan of you know the Jurassic Park movies, especially the first movie based off the, the novels by Michael Crichton and the first two movies directed by Steven Spielberg. And allegedly there's going to be another Jurassic Park movie or world movie somewhere, maybe 2025. And the rumor is uh, Gareth Edwards is going to direct it, so that's good. And uh, apparently they're eyeing Scarlett Johansson to be the main character. So that'll be interesting. Mm-hmm. My idea is to simply just reboot it with a more faithful version of uh, Jurassic Park based off the book. But I did a video about that a while back on the other channel. In case any of you are curious, uh, that's pretty much all we've been playing and watching and doing in March. And um, coming up in April, well, April's just about here. It's uh, Easter at the time I post this video. So happy Easter to everybody that celebrates Easter. Happy Passover, or whatever you happen to believe in or not believe in. Uh, so coming up in April, you know, we got uh, more walking. And I'm hoping to start finding either a new trainer or a gym or just get some equipment and maybe work with my old trainer, you know, remotely because I want to start working out again. So maybe I'll, I'll set that up in my garage. Uh, flight school is going to continue with Riley, so she's excited about that. Yeah, I'll eventually make a live stream or something. We can talk about it more. Yeah. But, yeah, um, it's kind of busy. Yeah, busy, busy. It's kind of busy. It's just, yeah, whenever I find the time. But, and also it's a mood thing. So you just kind of have to be in the mood. You don't want to force a live stream and be like, ugh, do I really have to do this? Yeah, or find another game similar to I Want to Hug That Gator or uh, the Snoot game. Yep, those I mean, games were good. Well, they were so good. Well, we we've suggested some Telltale games that you might want to be might want to try out, but you know it's up to you. I mean, obviously your main focus right now is flight school. Yeah. Maybe you'll do a flight school video in a few days after your first flight to to talk about your experiences. Yeah. And one day I'll make a Gator video. I still gotta make oh, yeah, it. Oh yeah, you still gotta make the your Gator video. I haven't watched. I haven't watched Ending Two. Okay. I haven't watched Ending Two. I watched Ending Four. I watch three because that's the end we got, and I watch one. I haven't watched any two yet. Once I do that, and I can recap all of them, I'll make a video. Okay. So, Sounds good. Yeah. But it's quite an experience. It's nothing but positive. It is such a good game. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, there are some endings where it just, it just makes you say, like, what the fuck is this? <laughs> but, yeah, it, overall, it's a pretty good game. I still get to see ending two. I wonder how that would go. I guess you'll find out. Mm-hmm. I also built a, a small park uh, with the characters from I Want to Hug That Gator 
well, the main characters. I've yet to show Riley what it looks like. It's silly. But I, I have two Baronixes because uh, Olivia was a Baronix. I made Inko a Baronix because obviously we don't have humans. She, well, there are humans technically walking around the parks, you know. But I had to come up with something that would work for Inko. So I just made him another Barracks. And then I uh, also had a, bra a Brachiosaurus for Liz. So he has a Brachiosaurus named Liz in the park. Um, I have a Pterodon in his own little Avery. I named him Idakin. And, uh, oh yeah, I had four Dilophosauruses, the Payne family. But uh, they tried to kill Inko, and Inko killed three of them. And the the one that survived, I, I renamed him Damien. I think Inko killed three of them. Well, they started it, though. They tried to kill Damien. Wow. I mean, yeah, the original Damien and uh, his mom and Vinny tried to kill... Inko. They, they jumped Inko, and Inko managed to, to kill all three of them. <laughs> Damn. So Mr. Payne was the only one that survived, so I just renamed Mr. Payne Damien. Oof. So I'm like, okay, yeah, let's just not have the rest of the Payne family here. Because at least, I guess by itself, one Dilophosaurus isn't as brave as an entire pack. Mm -hmm. But, oh yeah, I have two, para, uh, two Parasaurs, you know, for Ben and Mia. So I have them. And I think that's, I think that's it. <laughs> but uh, anyways, yeah, I'm sure Raleigh will make that Gator video sooner or later. Eventually. And, and maybe a Ghost of Tsushima Legends guy, but... You do make a good point about how, unfortunately, not everyone on PC, but it does seem like cheating has become a serious issue when it comes to a lot of games, especially online games. It's just everywhere. It's just Warzone, GTA, Fortnite, Fortnite and the whole, it's, it's like any other game, COD, yeah. 2042, there might be a cheater here and there. Yeah, especially, I don't know why... People just, just love cheating. People it, like the easy way out. It's so weird because I'm sure that 95% of PC gamers don't do that. But it's, it's that maybe that 5% or less that just make the rest of them look bad. Mm, I don't know. I, I still don't want crossover with the PC. Then you uh, have the, the whole the whole argument with aim assist versus keyword and mouse. Yeah, I, know, I know. I agree. That, I mean, that's not cheating, but it's like another whole thing. Yeah. I still think console crossplay is the way it should go. Yeah. Not PC. Leave PC to cheat on their own and do their keyboard and mouse shit everywhere. Like, there. Me, if, if I would play PC, I would just play single player games. Yeah. Because I've, I've played keyboard and mouse. I know how easy it is. It's not like, oh, you haven't played keyboard and mouse. Yeah, I have. I have played keyboard and mouse. It is so fucking easy to get kills mm -hmm. on any PvP game. It's so easy. But, yeah, that's pretty much it for my little rant on PC. <laughs> yeah. But it's crazy because it's been almost a year since we moved to Central Texas. Yeah. I mean, we first came down to check out the house in April last year. Mm -hmm. And then we started throughout that month, we started, you know, we had several smaller moves. You know, some items here and there, the cats, and then eventually, I mean, the dog first. And then eventually the big move in May of last year. But yeah, it's, it's crazy. Time flies. Yeah. And there is something that is happening on April soon. Oh, yeah, the eclipse. No. Uh, well, yes, but I was thinking of something else. Yeah. Uh, you're going to go over the eclipse, but I was yeah. going to I was thinking of something else. Okay, well, yeah, coming up on April 8th, there's like a really cool eclipse coming, and we're in the path of the eclipse. It's going to be on Monday, April 8th. I still haven't decided if I'm going to stream it or if I'm just going to record it because a lot of people in the area might be doing the same thing, like streaming it or recording it. And I, I don't know how it's going to affect the bandwidth or the, I guess, the quality. Mm -hmm. Plus, the truth is I kind of want to just sit back and enjoy the eclipse on the balcony. I'm pretty sure everybody's going to be watching it. Probably. But yeah, that's going to be, it's only going to last for a few minutes. It's going to start around 1.30 in the afternoon. So that's something to look forward to in about a, a week from tomorrow. Well, at the recording of this via, via video. Mm -hmm. um, oh, yeah, another thing. I finally sold the house in Louisiana, so that was one last thing I forgot to mention. So, yeah, I'm back down to one house now. I don't have to pay utilities or anything else Yay. on the old house. So someone else finally bought the old house in Louisiana. I kind of miss the old house sometimes, especially my oak trees in the backyard and the neighborhood. I, I like the old neighborhood, and there was a few restaurants we liked back But But to be old oak trees or balcony? Um... 
I guess the balcony, but like I said, part of me does miss the uh, the old house sometimes. I mean, I lived there for a few years, so I kind of, I was kind of attached to it. A few years. A few. But yeah. Anyways, what I was gonna mention. Now it's the uh, the month of our three year anniversary. Oh yeah. Yep, it's happening. Yeah. Yep, because uh, three years ago, um, me and GB met. Almost three years. Almost three years. Yeah, almost three years ago, me and GB met. Well, IRL. <laughs> because we met each other like in 2018. Yeah. But we never saw each other officially until 2021. Yep. And what day was it, GB? 420. 420. That's when we met yeah. on 420. Yep. But that is, I still find that funny. Yeah. So whenever 420 hits, uh, we're just going to place it. There we go. Yeah, it's going to be a free year anniversary. Yep. Yeah, but uh, yeah, uh, that's also something that's happening in April, so yay. Yeah. And yeah, we'll probably finish watching Bad Batch and, and Invincible and, and start Teen Titans on April. Yeah. Probably all that stuff's happening in that in that month. Mm-hmm. So, in fly school and whatever happens in our lives, you know, yeah. continuation of what's going on, basically. Yeah, basically. But uh, yeah, that's pretty much it. I don't think there's anything else. Is there anything else? No. No, that's it. It's over. It's over. And we have by done it. Yep. But anyways, uh, yeah, thanks again to everyone that's been watching our uh, vlogs. You're welcome. And uh, yeah, hopefully uh, you all are having a good 2024 so far. And uh, hopefully we'll be back in a month from now for the April 2024 vlog. Bye-bye.